Coming into this, before I even knew the rules, before I knew anything, this was the team that I wanted. I didn't know I had to pick like an energy member first. I didn't know like the order. This was literally my dream team. And I was like, I want to play with these players. I want to see what they do. There was a play I could have gone for potentially to get more LG members to this land because if I chose Baskin there, force Baskin to solo, and then Adraxi would have chose or would have picked Chef, I could have got more of my team here, but I didn't think about it until after. So no, it was just Chef. It's actually Mask and he was like, you could have brought more people to land. I'm like, oh. Right, but I mean it was just Jeff, like 100%. Like I said on the cast, I don't know what I thought was talking about. I really don't feel like Emilito over Yaman would have ever made sense. Had to pick an energy member. Emilito no, plays a nasty Jeff. Keep that in mind. So does Jeff. So <laughs> I knew on the roundabout I was about to get Jeff, and then I mean Yaman just made sense. He's an excellent mid laner. He was literally my only option there to choose anyone. So. I just with the image. Variety makes a lot of room for his entire team to perform. He is an excellent soul laner. He just creates problems for the enemy backline. You can watch him and Kilo working together and they just decimate backlines. His laning phase is really strong. His team fighting is really strong. He, he's just an excellent player overall. And I keep saying excellent because like I think my entire team is just full of excellent players. Well, Jeff, that's your, uh, what, what did I grow call you guys? Long time my, lovers my or something lover. like that? That's who I'm standing with. I'm standing with Jeff Hidlet and I Raffer. How you guys doing? Great. I'm having a good time so far. I mean, I'm winning, so it's good, you know. <laughs> Pretty standard On stuff. Top damage? <laughs> top damage with the tank boots. That's right. Real quick before we get into it, I want to know, was the tank boots like instant reaction or was that a thought process? I thought about it uh, and then I realized I, I'm really not good without protections, <laughs> so... So we just got through some fun Clash stuff. It was all mages, um, multiplicity. Mage Madness is what we called it. The next one, like the three casters, is going to be called the three amigos. It's 3v3 joust with some caveats. All physical. Please no Nimi and Lion. Basically what happens is you get a hunter, you get an assassin, and you get a warrior. No mages or guardians invited, so that's why we have the supports. I mean, I wanted to play, but none of them can cast. So, <laughs> I mean, I can't, but they're even worse, apparently. That's what they tell me. <laughs> I mean, I'm awful at other roles, but still, top damage. You're going you're to be talking about that. Oh, but but yes, still, forever. you've got the L. You know, you can't take that I away. can't control that. Well, I did. I controlled it, and I got the W. <laughs> okay, well, all right, listen. I was in Zeus. <laughs> what were you? Every god on all the teams? Morgan? You were all of them. Just because you can't play it, man. You just, I really can't play Morgan. <laughs> Dude, it's so bad. <laughs> my, my team can't play either, so you know, you've... Well, you've got to do. You've well, got I mean, to sacrifice. You had to fight zeros enough. for it. You had to fight yeah, zeros. Yeah, right. that was the thing in the drafting. It was him going, "I want Marigan." I was go, "Well, I'll go with Toff." He goes, "No, but I want Toff." I'm like, "Well, <laughs> I'll just go the opposite to what you pick." And then we had this like discussion for around ten minutes, and I just said, "Right, everyone, just pick what he wants." And then Benji locked in uh, the output, and I was like, "But not output." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Anything," and then Panda was like about to highlight the Anubis. I was like, "Sat next to him," so I said. Don't you lock that in, you know? <laughs> you play what you can play, not Anubis. Real talk, though, I think the Opwash won you the game. It did. Yeah. It was it, it was really so did. good. Um, I wasn't expecting it to do as much work as it did, and I'd seen him. I'm not sure who he baited into the tower, but he just outplayed him. I think yeah. it might have been Dimmy. And it was just the zone. He just, like, drops the, the corpses. Everybody has to run away, and you're like, all right, we'll kill the tower. You do that three times, that's the game. Yeah, so. just the troll pick did it, you know? <laughs> ben, there it is. Benji goes ahead and wins the game. As we said, the next one going to be a 3v3 joust. What are you guys expecting about this one? Um, well, the worst players are playing, right? So it's it's just going to be a clown fiesta. It is, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure... Right, so I'm pretty sure hunters are just going to get rocked, right? Like mm, I don't know. I've been watching Assassin Panda. Warriors? Panda's been playing pretty bad, so, you know... I think your team might have the edge. I think you'll... Finally, get some points. Up. No I mean, I, oh my I'll God. take some points. <laughs> clip, I'll take all this. the points. Clip this. <laughs> I rap like, yeah. <laughs> Nice yeah, for the first time on no. camera. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've known you since like 2014, and you've just been not nice. Let's see. No, I, I can be nice, you know. Well, I can compliment some people. It, I mean, <laughs> it only I mean, came at the cost of telling, saying Panda was playing bad. So, like, it was nice. That, that's a compliment for him, though, because like, when I tell him <laughs> that, he plays better then, because uh, he wants to prove me wrong, you know? So. 
I try, you know. I see. Either way, the 3v3 should be getting underway pretty soon, I think. Uh, since you guys are sitting out, that means on your team, it's going to be Barracuda and who else? Uh, Kubo and Variety. And then for you, it's going to be... I can't even remember who I picked. Cubo well, um, looks nice and lively here. Yep. <laughs> I think it was Adapting, Benji, and Panda. So. Sounds about right. Yeah, we've lost. Cubo <laughs> <laughs> here. Uh, talking about Cubo and uh, talking about Cubo real quick. Uh, you know, you have never been able to play on the same team as Cubo. Obviously, what was yeah. that like? Uh it was fun. Like, uh, so Cubo, like the entire time, like we had a like. A, no setup at all except for Cubo. <laughs> so anytime he rooted someone, we're like, "Oh man, we have to do something off this because <laughs> that's our entire con like." Right. And we, like we have the Afro kiss and the Nox root, and so I mean he got a lot of roots off. So it's good. <laughs> and then you play with the North Americans. I know you like to have fun, but what was it like rocking with Benji and Panicat? It's the closest to a full EU team, you know, <laughs> with them being EU United. So oh uh, my, is it? Oh, I'm did sorry, you man. base your team off of a pun? I, I, I didn't. You got to stop I, hanging I, out with Agro. I saw in the joke of someone. I can't remember who it was. Probably full, Agro. Full credit to them. Maybe someone off Reddit, you know. It sounds I'm sure. Good. I think it was someone off Reddit. Really? Yeah, I went on to the... Because uh, it was showing, like, people's predictions, who they think they had the best team, and obviously it was Barra's team, Rafa's team, Barra's team. It was more Barra's, but then it was Rafa just wanted an EU team. And I was like, <laughs> what? And then someone put... E United, and I was like, "Oh, how did I not? Und oh, how did I not notice that <laughs> when I was drafting?" It's it's funny though, because I mean, with with your roster, Benji and Paddockat are more of the uh, more of the like aggressive type players. I feel like that yeah. kind of fits in with you guys. Yeah, I, I, I love them. They're really talented, and I knew that from seeing them at Worlds. I mean, not Panda; he didn't make it, but <laughs> Salt Machine. Benji, he's really, really good, and I think he'll fit our play style. Yeah, that confidence. I mean, that, that's kind of what keeps energy alive is just this confidence, this belief in yourself, and I feel like Benji sort of has that as well. And, I mean, you know, rocking over with uh, your European friends. You and Barra, I mean, just as good, but you guys have more of a more laid-back style, more fun style, and Cuvo Fred kind of just slides right in there. Yeah, um, I think that's why Barra was wanted to draft them um, more for us, like, later in the tournament, obviously, because yeah. I have no I, I can't play anything else other than Guardians. <laughs> oh, so don't say after that. that. you good Zeus. And Zeus, thank you. <laughs> Electric Justice. Um, but yeah, no, I figured, uh, I'm pretty sure Kubo and Variety are going to fit in really well with how me and Barra play, and that Yaman, I, I can't imagine, isn't going to do extremely well there. Yeah, I mean, Yaman is just, he's just going to slide in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this should be easy. Now, it's funny, I was watching Barracuda, what was it, literally yesterday, rocking the Aphrodite on his stream. This is supposed to be fun. Did you guys actually, like, lab and practice this stuff? Um... No. You're disgusting. Try You're hard. a liar. No. Okay. Try, well, try hard. When we play arenas, I play <laughs> Zeus, he plays Afro, so this way I don't feed. And then I get the carry, and it feels good. I, that's try hard, man. Yeah. yeah kind of. Try, <laughs> try hard, and y'all still and lost. we still lost. Yeah, okay. So what, does it even matter? <laughs> but right. but then again, I can't say much. I literally play Morrigan support like, every day, so... It works, man. And, and Panda Cat. I had this argument with uh, with Zeros for so long yesterday. He's like, nah, nah, nah. It's mage only. I'm like, no, he's support, man. Just let me play it. And he just won't. That's a, that's a, that's a good Zeros. I, you're like going halfway into it, but yeah. you're still, you're still getting no, I've got, it. I've got to keep it cool. The nah, nah, nah. And he's like, nah, yeah, yeah, but nah. <laughs> Sounds like he's kind of Australian anyway. Yeah, nah, yeah. But he has his <laughs> the, Swedish The Australian Australian Swede over there. <laughs> <laughs> but Barra, I, I'm telling you, I was watching him play the uh, the uh, the Aphrodite, but it was Panda Cat who played Hebo in a professional game before. So he's actually bringing out the pro strats to the mm. to the to the funness to the fun fan time over here. So three v three on the way. We're calling it the three amigos. Like the three of us are sitting here. It's all physical. It's going to be warrior. It's going to be a hunter. It's going to be help me out. Assassin. Those are the three <laughs> classes that we're going to see. Who's going to win? My team. You know, it's easy to forget. You know, assassin adapting. Mm, yeah. yeah, I think we're, we've got this one. <laughs> Slips the mind. <laughs> He's only hammered. adapting. <laughs> Very soon here, I think we're just waiting on a couple of a uh, couple of the players to get their stuff in order. You know, all six guys. Kind of, kind of a lot of players there on the map. It's going to be a good game. I, d I just can't wait for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aren't so here? Are there going to be? Are you, are I'm going to roast them. Are you guys going to build tank? I am absolutely going to roast them. Are they building tank? I no, I, d I don't think so. Probably my, not. my team don't even know what tank items are. <laughs> I mean, obviously have Panda who gets mid guardian on hunters. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Hopefully sure. he doesn't do it this. If game. if if I see a Nimian lion on either side, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat him up. If you guys saw on Twitter, I bullied Barracuda when he got here. That was, okay. we just walked in, like that. <laughs> He, he just got that smoothie, like, 10 minutes ago. I've thought. 
I wrecked him. And that's what I'm going to do if any of these guys buy or build any sort of tank items. I'm just going to so slaughter them later. I really, I really don't want to see like a 90 minute joust match here. No, it won't happen. Yeah. I think with like a Rose team, it will happen because you have like Twig with like full defense. <laughs> I hate the guy. I hate the guy for doing it. But you know he's he's a really intelligent guy, so he knows what's the build. Twig was building, yeah, in that last one, Twig was building a uh, Heartward amulet, and and, and like oh, the whole team was building Spear of the Magus so they could help out each other. There was some like intense like side mode strats going on on that team, which I mean, let's be real, I don't think it surprised anybody. It seemed like they had a lot of synergy, you know, apart from ML. He's just a random guy <laughs> running around the map, he was, taking two portals. Every, yeah, he was just everywhere. <laughs> that poor stealing, was... stealing all the portals. It's what he does in our games. But when it comes down to it, I mean, you think about it, Captain Twig, he played pro mid. Kiki, he played pro mid. Uh, obviously pretty, uh, no, who was the mid laner? Played pro mid. <laughs> and, and then you had Emilito playing pro Kronos. Juggernauts, Minotaurs, the three amigos. It's these two guys. Their teams are playing. We'll see what happens on the Joust map. Here it is. Variety on Kukul Kane. Cuvo Fred with the Circuit. Barracuda on the Cupid. Benji on the Dog Man, adapting on the Lion Man. And Panda Cat, let him fix that face. I am already I think horrified for but, Cupid. Oh. I don't know. I, I think your team's really good. I see Cupid, and then I see a Fenrir, and then I see a Ravana, and Cupid's gonna dash, Fenrir's gonna follow him, Ravana's gonna fix his face, he's gonna ult him. I'm scared for Barra right now. It's Barra, though. It'll be good. That is true. I mean, yeah. he doesn't have you to save him anymore, but I'm sure the other two could. Look at this. Right away. Because they're both European, you know, they know how to play. <laughs> I thought they were gonna jump in, of course. <laughs> Are they gonna smoke him over here, right here, the surprise play on the red buff? Oh, uh, no, Cuba Fred's going to walk backwards. There's a dog oh. blink forward. That's going to be interesting. But uh, nothing really happens there, huh? No, I, I feel, like, really I feel like the blink was good. The yeah. blink engage is like, yeah. he had the right mind process, but he obviously missed his spells, and then he wasn't the correct follow -up. What was cool, though, is that the blink went underneath the jump, so the it, like, counter initiation. Yeah. yeah, he gets style points just like exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> Variety alone here, but there's the jump forward. Going to knock him up. Variety's still alive. Sprint is good. But oh. underneath the tower is safe. I just realized that Panda Cat is not on the hunter. No, he's no. not. Variety is not. Oh, barely alive. Barracuda gets the kill first, and Panda answers back. I'll At least it was one. a return kill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> At least true. it was a return kill. We'll take that. One of the things oh. that I like here is adapting on the on her. Right? How, how, how many times in a pro league game has Barracuda picked up kill number two? Has adapting asked you to play on her jungle? Um, so. He didn't ask us once, he just blocked it. And that is completely fine, because I know he's more than capable of yeah. playing the gun. He's, he's so talented with it. Um, but once we lost the game with it, he kind of drifted away. Really? Even though I still think it works. I, I, I mean, I think it works. And I know for a long time behind the scenes, Adapting has been like a proponent of the Honor Jungle. He's played it on stream and stuff, and it works. So, and seeing him play it on the Joust map, no surprise. There's a big Cubito, Cubo Fred. Just helping out Barracuda do his stuff. 3-0-0 zero, zero, as Cubo picks up one of his own. 103 for the jungler. That's my baby. Picking up three kills. Starting strong. Is it four? I hope so. Oh my god. Panda. What's happening? <laughs> Stolen. Why, why, why did he even agree to this? I, sh I should be playing down here. They, they obviously don't know what they're doing. Well, what character would you have picked? I get, I, if Bantos? I get to pick, if I know what they're picking, that I'm, I obviously you won't. He's blind. Uh, yeah. I probably would have went for a warrior, because um, my hunt, being a hunter is definitely not strong, but my uh, my warrior is just easy, isn't it? Just I mean, defense I mean, once upon a time you were a jungler, you had a you had a you had a really good Thor, except you couldn't farm, and your Thanatos <laughs> was dope too. See that that's not I don't agree with that. I think I could farm, but I want I wanted to give the team more farm because they didn't know how to play. You know? This is the counter fight from literally three years ago. Variety is gonna get the kill as adapt against his own counter fight. Cubo Fred with the blink to the back line. We'll see you later, Kenneth. Minotaurs two, Juggernaut seven, about to make that number eight. The zigzag and the smack, but he can't find it. Finally does. Thanks, Barracuda, for taking the tower. Oh, what I see from this is. We're looking strong for that Sunday. That was real talk. Like, jokes aside, the way they juggled that tower um, aggro, that's cute. That's that's just pure experience, you know. They're really talented in the game. They've tanked towers for how many years? <laughs> I'd be a bit scared if they didn't know how to juggle it, you know? That's a good point. But, but, you know, I don't want to take it away from them. That was really smart. But, I mean, me and you aren't there to take the towers for them. I'm, I'm surprised they that, knew that they shot. That was, that was the point that I was bringing yeah. up. Barracuda doing it is... I'm going to bring that up. When you guys do it, nobody cares. Just support yeah. being support. If we die, it's just... <laughs> yeah. Support being support, man. That's kind of your role. Yep. 
So Benji here on the dog. Three deaths and only two kills. I kind of expected more to Fenrir on this map. I'm just looking at the gold lead. It's not it's not looking good. <laughs> That's a lot of gold. I mean it's a lot of gold, it is 3v3, so. Oh, there's another big ultimate. Nice, gonna force out the ult from Panda Cat's Robin. Panda Cat's a hunter. Well, I, well, game number one, he, I mean, he doesn't even go for the Chronos. He goes for the Hebo. And the game number two, he doesn't go for the hunter. He goes for the Robin. I told him to pick Hunter before <laughs> I came up here. I said, you're Hunter, can it's Assassin, and Benji can go Warrior. Well, there's going to be a kill. Panda Cat picks it up. Doesn't even need the Hunter. Adapting the whole time, just laying in those on her basics. On the chase, there's a sprint. Ultimate right down center lane looking for Barracuda. The answer back. The stun is strong. Jump on top. Benji cleans up when adapting started. That was a really good turn by Benji uh, in the tower when he got his ult off before Juvo started like get, getting to play inside the tower, and that's what basically turned it right. He got the ult and bait, and then also Variety the shell. Went in. Yeah. The shell was massive in that tower. That was that was really uh, well played under tower for sure. It was way too aggressive by, <laughs> <laughs> by our team, but um, you know <laughs> yeah, they have a lead there. From that, that's what that's what you you get for having QV on Variety. But way <laughs> too in. aggressive. Yeah, all in. That's that's Europe. <laughs> All in all the time. I mean, you guys, it's worked out so far. Europe is clearly uh, kind of rocketed here in the summer and the spring and the last year's fall. And I mean, Europe's just kind of doing it. So all in kind of seems to be working out, huh? Yeah, we'll see if it works this game. Because I know my team, if they get a lead, they're going to do exactly the same thing. <laughs> team, so I can guarantee it right now. We're ahead. Let's get more ahead right now. So, Variety on the uh, on the Celtic Warrior. This is a guy that we haven't seen too much of. Obviously, kind of banned out in the Pro League until we see him in the next split. I, mean, I assume you guys have been sc scrimming with him on both sides? Variety's not played yet since Valencia. He has not played that gun. Really? Not once. This is Variety's first shot? That's his first game. I'm sure it is. Maybe he <laughs> tried him once in like a jungle practice, but I know for a, for a fact he's not played a scrim. Oh, Benji with a hot play. Jump forward, grabs him with the follow-up. But so, have have your have has your team played around with that warrior at all? Um, not. Uh, I think Maniac played it one game because we only had a couple of scrims because obviously it's vacation still. Oh, it's right, going right. to be after the Energy Invitational that we uh, do scrim every night. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we. I, I I think that Maniac is really good on that guard. Like he, you know, any warrior he picks it up straight away. Yeah, it, it kind of fits Maniac's style. Just like I'm gonna press W at you and taunt you the whole time, and he's just. Dealing out that mystical bail damage. How about you guys? Have LG played with it? Um, we haven't scrimmed with it, but uh, I know Scary has played it like a good amount in ranked. So, yeah, I enjoy the character because whenever he jumps, he says, "I'm coming for you, laddie," and that makes me smile. You every have time. to do it with the accent. Do it. I'm coming, I'm coming for, for you, laddie. 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 Something like that. Yeah. I laddie. I remember I was playing it in ranked, and then I was feeding my brains out. I was on one and eight, and I just screamed, "I'm coming for you, laddie." And my team was just in bits. They, they, they couldn't deal with it. I mean, that's how it works out, really. I mean, these uh, the, the voice packs kind of turn things around. Minotaur has turned things around. Previously down about like seven or, or six kills. Now evening things yeah. up. Eight all here. You worried about the gold. It's it's literally, I mean, separated by like 20 gold at the moment. I don't know how my team got ahead, but I, I'll take it. Where the, did that the, come from? The tower dive and then yeah. that it was stuff. it was it was Benji with a couple of good setups, mm -hmm. adapting, just playing the on her like he knows how, and Panda Cat just fixing that face. Uh, so something that's actually pretty interesting uh, is the Stone of Gaia off Barrow, right? So we got a bunch of early kills, and now we have Stone of Gaia. Um, it cut his damage a ton, but it's got to help a ton against uh, on her and Fen, right? Like exactly. Fen is supposed to just kill Cupid on cooldown. And I'm pretty sure that's helping him out a bit. Absolutely. Bull Demon King goes down to the guys on the left-hand side. It's Panda Cat all by his lonesome. Three players surrounding him. He's just kind of jumping away. Variety gets the big knockup. And Barracuda's going to clean it up with the delayed kill. Yeah, I'm going to add to what you said. The Stone guy is correct because you think they have a circuit and the new god, and them two are just going to go all in. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be just Barrow on his own, so he has to peel, and Stone yeah. guy is going to help. I love that. I, I love the way Benji is just bringing, bringing all, everybody to adapt. Yeah. It's like, hey, I got him. Adapting, do something. And Dad like, okay, I'm on her. I'll just hit him. Just hit him in the face <laughs> over and over again. The, so, so, I mean, that new character, where do you think he fits in, uh, Coco Lane? Is he, is he like a late game god, an early game god, a setup god? I think it's everything in solo. Yeah. Um, he's really strong. I, I think it can go into his rage farm at level two, the second wave, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure I heard people I, I heard people talking about it and that sounds like it's broken for early game.
Yeah. Basically, from what I've seen so far, is the god either decimates everything in his path, like the person knows how to play him well, he's always raging at the right times, and you, you just can't do anything near him because just, he just has so much disruption and then raw damage. Or you have no idea what you're doing on him and feed it around. So. That, that's yeah, kind of... I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Coming for you, like that. I think it's interesting because you got to... So, I mean, basically, if you hit 70... Once you hit 75 Rage, which you get Rage from doing stuff, right? Once you hit 75 Rage, you transform. And use that second ability, the, the Vent Heat, to, like, make sure you don't transform prematurely, right? So if you know what you're doing, you're going to, like, play with it the whole time. And if you don't, you're just going to hit buttons and, like... Go rage mode when you're farming like back harpies or something. It's 85, right? Huh? I could have sworn it was 85. Oh, I don't. I, I just hit creeps and then sometimes I go red. And <laughs> I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't doing, know. So I, I might be playing it wrong then. <laughs> I'm not too sure. The, the point is, you gotta manage yeah. the resource. <laughs> there's a rage mechanic and you two to not. Ray, uh, yeah, something yeah. like that. You get mad, you press yeah. 2 to not get mad. <laughs> yeah. I, I know a lot about the rage mechanics, especially in Smite Ranked. I mean, yeah. hey, look at your team. <laughs> yes, we all know about it. Juggernaut's here pushing up. How do they make, how do they make, their, how do they make their shove? Uh, well, Barra is actually now, right? So that's going to be really good into, um, obviously, the tower pushes. <laughs> that taunt. I think that yeah. taunt was it. That, that's what he needs to do. Just taunt my team. and. Every time. Do you remember? Do you? Re oh, man. Every time I see that Cupid taunt, I think back to the Allied video where he makes the Cupid twerk to the, to the song. I've never seen that. <laughs> oh, man. It's a, it's a classic. But Benji trying to make a classic of his own here. Looking for the ult. Just gets smoked. The knockup with the Barracuda ultimate. Secures the kill of the doggo. Barra comes in a body block for Variety. Nice play right there. And now it's a two on three. That was a really nice shell, but I think the biggest mistake in that fight was Benji going for the Cupid. He should already know how he's <laughs> up, like, based his items. So. You see him take the heart from Cupid. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> real, real serious play here going after the Juggernauts. But, yeah, I mean, what do you even do as Benji at this point, right? Yeah. Like, you kind of, like, is, you just continue to only pull Cirque, uh, Cirque and Variety, right? Like, because when you're, whenever you're going on the Cupid, like, he's yeah. just going to get guy -ed. Wow, that, that tactical pause from your team. That's <laughs> disgusting. Is that a combat it, it, pause? It caught us off guard. Then. We're like, <laughs> oh, God, we need to. We're, we're about to siege. <laughs> we're not full health, but we have creeps coming in. We're thinking of a game plan. <laughs> like you said, we're, we don't have any points You're thinking yet. about how not to throw. We don't have any points yet, right? We That's don't. the key. Oh, well, oh, I thought that sound was just going back in the game. It just says the game is paused. It's zero to zero. How do you get points? I mean, you just win, right? Right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so? You yeah. don't get points. You just win. I, I honestly think, like, with the pointing system, you could be against any team. Like, I would say Emilito's team's the weakest. Yeah. But... They're good at the, these game modes, so they might be even higher seeded. So you might want to be in like second or third seed. That's, that might be better than the first. That's what I've been saying. I think I think the favorite to win these these troll matches. I mean, it's the best. It's Kiki. It's Aurora, <laughs> Captain Twig. I mean, those are the guys you're gonna pick for the mini yeah, matches, they, right? Uh, they must have slept pretty bad. <laughs> we kind of had you there. Yeah. But here uh, in our three amigos match, you guys are just joining us at the three v three joust. Jeff's team and Iraffer's team are there. They're sitting up here because well, it's all physical. It's a hunter. It's an assassin. And it's a uh, Warrior. Mm -hmm. You're trying to say we can't play them characters? Yes. Wow. I can, like, kind of play warriors and stuff. You can play Guan. And, like, Sun Wukong. He oh, was yeah. a really big support. Yeah, and Sun Wukong was big once upon a time. And Odin was big. And I have them all ranked on. So okay. that means I can, like, play them, right? There you go. And then your hunters? Uh... Apollo. Oh, it's and an Apollo an army. now. Oh, I'm Apollo oh, okay. and it's an army all the way. There was, there was one time where uh, when Jeff played ADC, it just meant on her damage carry exclusively. <laughs> it didn't actually mean anything uh, else. I got really bad at on her really quick. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? If, I mean, outside of jungle, you're not allowed to play jungle. If you had to pick a different position, what would it be? Uh, not Hunter. <laughs> anything other than Hunter. Yeah. I know they go always go as bad. I, I'll either have a really, really good game. That's like the one in 10 game. And then the other nine, it's zero fourteen, <laughs> and I just tilt, and everyone camps my lane. They're just like, this guy's awful. <laughs> I mean, it's probably what they do when I'm supporting too. So <laughs> every time I play a different role, they're like, "Oh, Jeff's not on support. We're gonna make his life awful, and like let him know that he's supposed to be support. And this is what happens when you don't. Like, you're yeah. not good. I'm like, I know. I, I know. Okay. It's that in ranked. When I was on your yeah. team, I'd taken your role, and you went summer Kong solo, and it was like, it was not good. <laughs> no, very weak. <laughs> I think I should have went solo. I, <laughs> I mean, I give it to you because. Queuing with somebody and I respect it, and I'm like, I, I know I'm not gonna do well, but I mean, you guys do a cute. And so I mean, Are you do not, not because you're the best Sun Wukong in the world. No, that's uh, <laughs> who's the best Sun Wukong in the world. 
uh, variety. I think. No, not me. <laughs> yeah, doesn't <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Not me, though. You think no, it's I variety? think you played well. I think you played well. That's not how that game uh, went. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to be nice, you know. I'd, it it's it's so hard. I can I can see Raffer straining with each nice thing he's saying. I, he's like, you I remember what was well. it? I walked in. I walked into Gank for Panda Cat, and I missed three abilities. And Panda Cat is like, "What is wrong with you?" I'm like, "I don't know, man." I On Sun Mukong? Yeah, yeah. I, the, I, I he's, missed he's everything. He's got to stick the size of the lane. Okay, well, I the think I hit that. The spin the okay. size of the lane. I missed the tiger stance into like a spin or something, and he's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I don't know what I'm doing." <laughs> You should have heard Alhokong. Yeah, I would. <laughs> you should have watched my VOD. Like, honestly, he was giving you some stuff. Yeah, I imagine so. And I, I was just, I, I, w I wasn't raging. I was just like, well, it's not a solo winner, you know? Like, you can't expect him to hit everything. Maybe some with Kong spells, well, but. <laughs> or, well, he should expect me to hit anything. I didn't. <laughs> because I remember he was screaming. He was like, Jeff baited me. <laughs> That's why I died. He baited me. I was like, nah, you're just bad fat <laughs> Now I go stick up for my boy, Jeff. Thank you. It you guys, you, guys uh, you and Panda, I noticed, you guys uh, pal around a lot together. You guys play a decent amount, huh? More than I do with Emil. <laughs> <laughs> where did that, uh, I mean, NA and EU, it seems kind of like, I don't know, where did that friendship start? I think it started at LAN, you know. He, yeah, he actually qualified for LAN. <laughs> so at LAN, I met him, and he's just a really nice person, and just got along with him straight away. And I remember one of the LANs, he was uh, he was the Gordon Ramsay, you know. He was, he was cooking all the burgers, and they were... Perfect, and that's where we had like the banter, and it just went from there. Really, just we've always had that friendship where it's just banter between us. He'll always give me grief, and I give him grief, and <laughs> it's usually what happens with ML too. <laughs> Panda's a cool dude. Uh, there's uh, there's Rude, one of our newest admins, but there's Panda. Panda's a cool dude. Uh, surprisingly, you know, um, I've been friends with him for a while too. I always uh, I always forget how young he is. Dude's mad young, right? Oh. Is he like fifteen? Who? Panda cat. Oh yeah, he's um. 17, I oh, think. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he just turned 17 these days. I just forget that. Because, uh, you know, when he came in the scene, he was, uh, you know, 15, 16, playing with, uh, what was his name? Payne Divion, your old teammate. Yes, I played with Payne for a while. You played for, with Payne for a long time, didn't you? Um, well, we played throughout uh, all, all of Denial, right? Yeah. Um, that was a year, over a year. So yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. Definitely a pretty mm -hmm. long time. Yeah, you guys uh, you guys were fun. What, what, what is he doing these days? Is he playing in the combine, or...? I don't know. Washed up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Payne. Had he's, the, to. he's the next caster. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Maybe. Where is he? Yeah, he's, he's just over there. He's <laughs> coming over here now to take over my position. I can't even be washed up. That's how bad I am. We're still paused in our 3v3, the three amigos, as Kivo Fred trying to figure things out right now. Kivo's playing the, uh, the Shirket at the moment, kind of standard for him. Whereas uh, ben, uh, Panda Cat is the one, I think, most out of position playing the Robin. <laughs> Yeah, it's just <laughs> Emilito and Panda. They just play the same way. <laughs> That's why I think we're going to be good on Sunday. Yeah. I hope so. You know, because he, he does play the same as Emilito, and he's as good as him. What, what do you mean by that, that he plays the same way? He's just so aggressive. Like, he's <laughs> yeah. like, please don't dive this tower. He's like, no, no, we, we've got it, we've got it. And then we'll get ganked. And he'll be like, yeah, but nah, they, they should have called that. He's like, <laughs> I called it. I called don't dive the tower. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, Panda Cat's original claim to fame, I mean, Blink Artemis. Oh, no. You don't get more aggressive than Blink Artemis. Yeah, I, I think the the first time I really seen Panda play was at the Epsilon Invitational. Yeah. And that's when we were on, like, a good streak of winning, when we were at, like, the, the prime, and they gave us a good run for our money. Like, they were so they good. They almost and, beat you. Yeah, like, there was at points, I'm not sure if it was at that tournament, but Panda 1v2'd adapting and emilito i remember that and yeah. that that is that is really crazy to have you know you've so you 1v2 them two players of that caliber yeah panda cat and that was that was like i mean now we're used to seeing him in and out he wasn't a rookie then but that was earlier on in his career so panda cat certainly come a long way here finding himself at our basically our all-star match our unofficial all-star weekend right the energy invitational you guys are rocking some cool jerseys you can get yeah. your own at into the am why is yours blue uh because i like blue juggernauts and minotaurs <laughs> are the two teams that we're seeing we also have the manticores not the Minotaurs. The Manticores, and then Ataraxia is captain of the uh, the Titans. 
as they are appropriately named. Minute 11 as we get back in. Juggernauts 12, Minotaurs 9, Variety Kivo Barracuda repping uh, Jeff Hindler's team. And then I Raffer, represented by Benji adapting and Panicat, who's dead. It's pretty ironic. I have two NA and you have two EU. Uh, <laughs> and who's ahead right now? I don't even know. I've, I've, I've actually forgot. <laughs> you, you I, I literally yeah, I mean, just recap. That's why I do what yeah. I do. It is a close game. Classic yeah. pros not listening to the They did get red. You guys get red? That's strong. Oh, but there's Bully uh, <laughs> King. It's on adapting. We've got a chance in this team fight. Halfway yeah, down. Are they going to steal it? Nice control by Kubo, yeah. actually. That was pretty cute. Like that one. Juggernauts wind up with the big guy. Now looking for the fight. Benji misses the jump. Variety is going to get ulted by the dog. Bringing him right to adapting one more time. But another good ult by Barracuda. Finds the kill. Seven in total for LG's Hunter. The synergy is just completely off with my team. They need a, they need a leader back. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, Panda. I really like how uh, Kibo played that. He basically is just like, yeah, you two do it. We're fine with the DPS. You guys are good to go. The second anyone came in, uh, I'm just going to dump my entire kid so they have to look at me and deal with me instead of yeah. stopping the objective. That's his play style, Kibo. He has a really nice play style. He's not, he's not scared to have a bad KDA as long as he knows yeah. he gets like, the win at the end. And yeah. that you can obviously see that's how he's playing this game. Yeah, that was a great team play by him. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool because he, a lot of times when you think about those like, set up oriented junglers you're thinking like the the weird warrior picks or whatever kivo will play the straight assassins and then just use their kit in a different way which is fun yeah i think he plans to mitigate damage sometimes with his picks you know yeah. that's why he plays like ravana so he can two like 1k damage you know and then he's got his ultimate which has damage damage mitigation also big counter play coming out for the minotaurs but still variety's taking no damage whatsoever he did have to use his shell there though but yeah i they shelled and then they kind of stopped looking at him after they took the shell off. Like, yeah, Glad Shield, Breastplate of Valor, shell. Like, what are you gonna do? He's just sitting nah, there, just nah, taking nah. all, the, taking all the damage. I think my team just has to farm it out now. Just sit under that, then mm -hmm. just defend the objectives. There's no way they can take a fighting lane versus them now. I think uh, a a after Pendica, I'm, I'm assuming he's going demon at this point, right? If he can wait it out, that that that'll definitely help. But. Uh, power's doing so much damage. Ooh, right? adapting over the wall. One more shot. Oh, man. It's not often you see that, you know. It's a tiny bit off. <laughs> it's fine now. We're, we're, we're still getting a... Oh, I'd say it's an even trade now. Yeah. Nice bounce back there. Oh. Adapting on this on her, man. I just... No fear. Her, it's just fun to watch. It's just fun to watch. I liked it. Even in the game that y'all lost, I, I was rooting for it, really, behind the scenes. I... I like watching the uh, the on her just jump over a wall, get the knock up, impale. It's fun stuff. Well, even right there, it's just cool. Like, so adapting's down a little bit, right? But he's still just when you jump in his on her, it's like, oh, uh, there's a lion <laughs> jumping at me. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm ahead or not. Like, oh man, yeah. screaming all in when you see not her jumping in. Yeah, you get knocked up and just. Ugh. Yeah, and you have to deal with it, and you get you get knocked up into the uh, into a stun. Oh, I was a Sunday. Ooh. I like QVO's puffing, you know, how he goes to the aggressive way, and he's on his own. Yeah. So he, he has a lot of, like, map awareness. He knows exactly where the opponents are, and he knows where his teammates are, too. What was cool, he, he, he missed it because adapting jumps just at a range, but QVO throws the, the first kiss from Cobra's kiss to the right, reads that adapting's going to jump over, and goes to throw the second kiss right where he lands. He, he had to predict the jump, otherwise he wouldn't have been able to move that fast enough, so... He just knew that Adapting was going to jump over the wall there instead of run at him. That's cool stuff. I definitely like the uh, second stone of Gaia coming out of Kubo here, right? Because especially with how he's been playing the game so far, he's really, really in their, you know, in the front line. He's and he was getting bit and punished a lot early, and now, I, and now he really can't, right? Yeah. Ooh, well, the secret, the secret <laughs> ambush play. They're not going to know he's here. Oh, they don't know he's here. The, so, so Kubo Fred's team is while well, they were doing the. The, the Bull Demon King. And there's the Kukul Lane to come bait. And then, surprise, wow. here I am! The big zigzag. That was so much fun. So, so, like, so much patience, you know. He knew exactly how that was going to go. He planned it for so long. Yeah, there's the ultimate out of Cupid. Now Variety just tanking all of Adapting's nonsense. And Kubo cleans it up. Nice plays coming out from Juggernauts. They're really like, there's a lot of synergy going on with your squad right now, right, Jeff? Yeah, no, um, I mean, even right there, right? You just saw Kubo and Variety, like, oh, we know how to play together. Like, this obviously isn't Conquest, but we've kind of done this setup yeah. before. And he just sat there in stealth, and I mean, it's stealth. So. And, and, it, and it was fun watching, okay, so they're not gonna come here by themselves. Variety, go get them. Yeah. <laughs> go get them, Variety. Hey guys, follow me. 
<laughs> they literally just walk into it. Right into the fountain. Smart play coming out from Benji. Still not enough to kill the Celtic Warrior. The Titan almost down. 25% HP here. GG. Here, do the do the play-by-play. -play. Call it down. I'm just gonna cry. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, they won. Great wait, chance, they won without me. That's okay. Wait, actually. I, I, I think it broke down to just adapting getting caught. That was what happened. He got caught and uh, they knew straight away we have to go and adapt. And it was only yeah. gonna be him that won the team fight at the end. Um, I'm pretty sure the uh, the early kills on Barra and the Stone Agaya helped out a lot because then you it's so much harder to pressure uh, the person you were supposed to be diving and killing when yeah. you really can't dive and kill them. It was it, it was kind of rough because Benji was doing everything he could. He was doing mm. the right stuff, bringing the cat, bringing whoever he picked up with the ultimate <laughs> right to adapting. Amel's just talking smack look over there. Look at Panda all the way on his own. There's two <laughs> seats away. <laughs> like, you go you go feed over there. Don't be near us. He's not with us. I think the Fenrir pick just, you know, didn't didn't work out. I think it did well, but it was hard with the Stone of Gaia. But every time, like, uh, or even when they were a little ahead, that play from Benji was great, right? He picked up everyone, he exactly. baited everyone in the tower, and that was their in back into the game. Like, and it was basically off Benji's playing and baiting them. It was, yeah, it, it was when it was a, when he was able to make it work. Mm -hmm. Benji was able to play it, but then the Cupid ult just limited that Fenrir so yeah. hard, the giant cripple. Like, Fenrir, two out of four of what Fenrir wants to do is. A and cripple then the ability. three was Stone of Guide. Right? That, that's why Fenrir is not in meta right now, just because it's Stone of Gaia. Yeah. yeah. So, a little bit rough there. Uh, it's Jeff Hindler's team that takes the uh, the W. Who's holding the L? I mean, I wasn't playing, you know. <laughs> it was expected. I can only carry him when I'm there, right? I can't carry him from here. Well, Rafford's going to hold this L. You guys hold this break. We'll be right back.